The miserable weather over Port Talbot this morning perfectly summed up the mood. The town and Tata are as one. Everyone here has a link to steel and they're all feeling the pain. Oh, it's dreadful. It's dreadful. I've got family who work in steelworks, so it's absolutely dreadful. It can be worse news. It could be the death nail for the town. Is it that bad? I think so. It's getting badder anyway. These jobs go, the knock on effect to other small industries. It's awful. It's, uh, there's so many people that are going to lose their, their jobs around you, all the local people. It's, um, it's going to hit Patalba really hard. But not just this town. Cardiff, Swansea, Bridgend, Mystig, just some of the areas the workers live. In communities all over South Wales, families will be asking themselves tonight what do they do if the main breadwinner loses a job? It wasn't meant to be like this. The Chancellor of the Exchequer, Mr Hugh Gateskill, comes to open the largest steel plant in Europe. With its high-skilled, high-wage work, Port Albert steel workers could have thought they were made for life. It's absolutely dreadful. Les remembers those days, having worked there for two decades, but now retired. All he can do is sit back and watch the decline in Welsh steel. You've got no other employment, have you, in the area? Not, not, not in a scale like that. I say, what, what do these people do next? What are they going to do? I mean, they, the mines went 30 years ago, and now the steel is going. It's, it's very sad, very sad. Where are they going to get money to pay their mortgages? They got... It, it's, it's an awful situation for them to be in. I feel really, really sorry for them. And what about all the businesses in Port Talbot that are reliant on steel money? Mike runs a cafe in the local shopping centre and fears what comes next. We're very reliant. You know, at the end of the day, you know, they're giving us a living. You know, right? you know, and you can't help but hang out for them. You know, it is, it's got to have a knock-on effect to everybody. It's not just that it's not just like uh, you know myself saying finish, you know, I've got two I've got two girls working with me whose partners work in the steel company. They don't know what the outcome's gonna be for them. Today's job losses come on what's called Blue Monday. A time when we're all supposed to be feeling at our lowest after the highs of Christmas. For most, it's a marketing gimmick. But in Potalba tonight, it's just how they feel. Rob Osborne, ITV News.